What did Merck know about the dangers of Vioxx, and when did it know it? That's what the Senate Finance Committee is trying to find out on Capitol Hill, where members are grilling not only Merck executives, but also government regulators. Seeing as Chris Huntington is live with the story, he's joining us now. Chris? Well, Wolf, members of the committee wanted to find out if Merck and the FDA did enough to protect Vioxx users from the dangerous side effects of the drug. But what they got in the hearing today was an earful about the shortcomings of the FDA's drug safety program. FDA scientist David Graham testified that he estimates Vioxx caused more than 100,000 heart attacks, 30 to 40 percent of them fatal. But Graham told members of the I'm Senate Finance Committee that his FDA superiors ridiculed him okay. and insisted on changes. Dr. Wayne, I was pressured to change my conclusions and recommendations. One drug safety manager recommended that I should be barred from presenting the poster at the meeting and also noted that Merck needed to know our study results. Graham offered a blistering condemnation of the FDA's drug safety program, saying that the system is broken and often overlooks the dangers of drug side effects. The FDA is currently configured is incapable of protecting America against another Vioxx. A senior FDA official responsible for evaluating new drugs flatly dismissed Graham's assessment. Do you agree with Dr. Graham that five drugs he mentioned pose a significant safety risk to Americans? No, I do not. Queter also rejected Graham's contention that several drugs still on the market, including Bextra, a COX-2 inhibitor from Pfizer, are dangerous and should be recalled. Testifying via satellite, a former Merck consultant told lawmakers that the company refused his request for data on Vioxx-related heart attacks. And another doctor disputed Merck's central point that heart attacks occurred only in those who took the drug for more than 18 months. Merck lacked information to know when the risk uh, occurred and, and you cannot say with confidence given the, the available data. Merck chairman and CEO Ray Gilmartin presented a well-honed defense of his company and Vioxx, insisting that the first time Merck saw clinical evidence of heart attacks linked to Vioxx was just a week before the drug was pulled from the market in late September. Merck believed wholeheartedly in Vioxx. I believed wholeheartedly in Vioxx. In fact, my wife was taking Vioxx, using Vioxx, up until the day we withdrew it from the market. Now, well, for now, Merck is saying that it only knows of 375 lawsuits related to Vioxx, representing about 1,000 plaintiffs. But the company is almost certainly preparing for potentially tens of thousands of plaintiffs to sue because Merck, uh, on its own numbers, says that more than 20 million Americans took Vioxx over a five-year period. Wolf? Chris Huntington, uh, solid reporting. Thanks very much for that report.